Blanket Man, a mass of a human being. All right, and welcome to episode three of Blanket Man. I know I'm a few weeks late. It's been a crazy few weeks between school, work, real life situations, just general anxiety. But I believe I left off on why I shipped Drary and Destiel as my main OTPs, which for all of you who don't know is one true pairings. Um, that's because in this house, we like to say canon, fuck you. We don't believe in canon in this house. The fanfiction gods that looked upon that shit and went goodbye. The Russos, I'm talking about you. I am still mad about Endgame. I will always be mad about Endgame. No, so we don't we don't believe in canon. We don't trust canon. If anyone actually read the books, which I did, and I know my friends did, but Draco and Harry have such good what's that word? Chemistry, chemistry. Um, they have really good chemistry, and also they spent like seven years pining. So I don't know how J.K. Rowling is like, oh, no, Harry totally ends up the guinea who is like a sister to him, which is just, isn't that like technically adopted sibling incest? That might just be me. I don't know. But I felt it was really weirdly placed. They didn't really have a whole lot of chemistry. Also, they didn't have a lot of really good chemistry. But, you know, you get seven years of back and forth banter between Draco and Harry who inevitably do not end up together, which, I mean, come on. Also, the epilogue, which is really weird, too, which I don't understand. Like, it was just for a generation that had grown up on Harry Potter, whose lives were, for the most part, directly mirrored in such a way. It was kind of weird to see them thrust, like, you know, 30 years in the future with kids happy, married, you know, financially stable. I don't think anybody I know is financially stable, except my parents, but... They don't count because that was 30 years ago, and they have their shit together. Well, I don't. So, there's that. Um, Desiel is because, I mean, seriously, have you seen the way Dean was a cast and vice versa? Look, at least in Supernatural, I'm pretty sure God went, well, I, like, you can have this one man. This man can have this one angel. And I'm not super far in this series, and I'm only on season, am I on season five? I think I'm on season five. But, from what I'm seeing so far, I am totally 100% a Destiel fan, and I totally also love, um, is it Sabriel? Is that what you pronounce? Sabriel, that was a good one too. Even though Gabriel fucking died, not that I'm surprised, it's supernatural. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll come back for season 15, I don't know. There's one season left, I'm still mad about that, but honestly it lasted a far longer than it was supposed to. So, that's that. This is going to be completely unedited, I'm sorry, but this is also really late, and I don't want to disappoint y'all, and you're going to get another one tomorrow, if, you know, knock on wood, if I can get my shit together, so that's that. Um, I will see you all either tomorrow or at worst late sometime this week, you'll probably get a double update, but uh, peace out, and keep your blankets on. Bye.